Hey everyone, it's Chris Hawk here. So I'm gonna give you a star stake update. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and I know it's been a while, but I have some exciting things to share with you. Uh, I'm gonna share something really special in the beginning here. I'm gonna give you some updates on our launch and then I'm gonna do a full demonstration of the software for those that want to see me using it and all the kind of changes that have happened, some of the new additions. And um, I think a lot of this is gonna surprise you. But before I get into that, just know uh, again, it, it kind of always comes down to this conversation is it's all up to us to develop this and, and test this to get it right. And the last thing we will ever do is launch a product that just doesn't function. It doesn't deliver on the promise. And in doing that, because of the nature of this type of product, look, we're, we're creating an entirely new category here, which we consider brand club economy design is how do brands creators come into here and create their own brand club, their entire economy around a completely new model. And yes, it has NFTs and yes, it's on the blockchain, but fundamentally it's about building this club culture to create new relationships with your customers and fans to be able to reward them and for them to exchange or for you both to exchange value and and the amazing magic that happens when you do that when there's an actual mechanism to do it i'm going to share with you this kind of og uh, brand club, uh, kind of the origin story of the of all of this here in just a second and that's why i wore my ipad shirt this is uh a company that I owned, uh, I sold it about, gosh, six, seven years ago. And um, back then, I started a company called iPass. It stood for as a fancy name for Internet Prospect Acceleration Systems. And it was software that we built to help uh, sell digital products online because there were so many challenges in actually selling. And we wanted to try to figure out how to automate as much as possible, streamline the process. And so we built this amazing software over the course of a year and it cost a fortune to build, but it was great, but it wasn't quite selling, like the market wasn't quite reacting. And so I was trying to figure out a way, how can we attract more people? And we had different price points from $20 to like 5,000 or something like that. And uh, people just weren't committing to those top tier levels. And that's where the real value was. And I couldn't figure it out. And then finally we said, you know what? We need to deliver something more than just software or a solution. And that's where this whole idea of this club culture came from. It's like, what if we gave them a status? What if we delivered a black card, a club card that delivered experiences they could never have anywhere else? And we did. And so we created something called the iPass Black Card Club. And so we had different levels. Each price point had like a silver, gold, whatever. And it was very much a membership. It wasn't a subscription. There's a difference. Subscription, you pay when you maybe buy a piece of software and you pay that subscription every month. A membership is something you have access to that gives you perks, that gives you something more, right? It's a membership. You're part of something. It's a cultural difference. Um, so we created this iPass Black Card. So if you spent the 5000 or whatever it was, 3500 you would be part of this, this club. And you got this really cool package. Um, you got this card right here. Okay, and it came in this just really kind of just pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys can see it. It feels really nice. It was just very premium. You can see there's iPass on it. But this thing right here is responsible this single thing is responsible for doing over $200 million in sales because of this. And this metal card, it's metal, if you can hear it, it's kind of crazy, okay? This card did nothing, but it did everything, okay? This card doesn't have, it's not a credit card, it's not a debit card, you can't use it to spend money on. It's just something that you got that said, hey, you're part of something different. You're part of something important and because of that then what we did is we did events now they got a bunch of perks for that and they got access to us and there's just all kinds of great perks but really what it was every three months we did an event so we threw an event uh we did an event uh all over the country las vegas new york california texas all over and it was every three months because that's where we noticed people kind of started to lose interest or start to find more challenges uh taking over so we did this event and we always went above and beyond for our black club members, black card club members. And what we did is we threw these crazy VIP parties, these red carpet events. We rented out stadiums on home plate and um, we rented out nightclubs and, and yachts and just did all these crazy things that normally you would never be able to experience on your own. And just to these insanely expensive suites and hotels. And we just delivered this experience
experience and the value through that. And people came back every three months. They always wanted to come back because of what they got with this. It was just something else that, look, you're working at home and you're making a living, but it was kind of your escape a little bit. It was the cultural piece that we were missing. And to this day, people still carry this card in their wallet. And it's very nice. It's very heavy. Um, it's quite nice. So this was the origin of Star Stake. A lot of the concepts that uh, myself and my partner and some of our, our engineers put into this come from what we did successfully. Unfortunately, it's really hard to teach what we did back then, right? To teach a company to build this club and it's, there's no mechanism there and it's limited by by a lot of things, okay? But as it was great for us, it was very expensive to put on those events. Some of them cost a million, two million dollars, um, some of them, you know, less, but um, what was really important was the experience and the loyalty that we got from that. But what we were missing was the fan value, right? There was no way for us to get anything after that, meaning a fan couldn't, there was no incentive for them to share things or to buy more things, right? They already bought something, they were part of this. And so now with Starstake, because of technology, thankfully, and not just NFTs, but just blockchain and, and the way we can do things, now fans get rewarded for exchanging value with you. So in Starstake, you get these Star Connects, you build this official connection, right? There's basically four main NFT technologies. Now there's a lot of tech in this thing, insane amount of technology, okay? But if you look at it from, from your point of view, there's four NFTs. There's a Star Connect NFT, there's the NFT Bucks, there's the Brand Club NFTs, and Access NFTs, those four. Each one serves a very important purpose to create a connection, to create value, and or exchange value, and to create status, okay? And so your Star Connect is what you, your stars, or sorry, your fans um, connect with the brands with. That makes the connection official, like actually official on the blockchain. You're given a number. If you're my fan, you're given a number. Whenever you get that thing, it's like a trading card. It's like this card, right? Like you're given this card with a number, unique number to you only, and only you can have this. Um, but that's your foot in the door. Then from there, okay, now that allows me to own the relationship with you, but now you can own the status with me. And so you can join my brand club for Star Stake or whatever I have. And that's where the perks start to come. That's where the experiences come. The th same things I did with events, you're going to be able to do right inside a brand club. And the cool thing is because the financial system is all built in, now when you as a fan buy more products, share more products, share the brand club itself, um, when your loyalty score goes up, so we have these attribute scores, these four scores, customer ownership, uh, service and loyalty, when that starts going up, that shows me that you're bringing value to me and I can return the favor in so many ways. And that keeps you engaged, that keeps you uh, really excited to be part of this, just like that. Um, you could do events based on this. You can do just so many incredible things. Okay, so you have the brand clubs, the star connects, and then you have the box, which is your own currency. Why do we do that? Well, because it's cool. And as Cap and I always say, because we can. Okay, yes, it has a function. I don't like crypto necessarily. I don't like using it. I don't like thinking about it. I've sent the wrong crypto to the wrong wallets so many times. It hurts because it's thousands of dollars that are just gone. I know some of you know what I'm talking about, and I don't like it. And so we didn't want that experience for the consumer here. And we said, well, wouldn't it be cool just to create your own money, like create your own currency that you could exchange for other stuff? And what if you could get those fees that PayPal's taking, right? So it just made sense and it may not right away, but I think down the line, people are gonna realize how powerful this is. It could change everything, quite frankly. Um, so we reinvented the checkout. Like literally, it's like uh, reaching in your pocket and handing somebody cash. It's like, oh, I wanna buy that product. I wanna buy those shoes and I'm gonna use Chris Hawk bucks. I'm going to use Bieber bucks. I'm going to use whatever. It doesn't matter. And the cool thing is, is if you use my bucks, I get a little 1% little kickback. I get that little PayPal fee, right? So if you're inside of my economy in some way, I get a benefit of that. And it's cool because you get to see, you just swipe up and it's just, it's, it's darn cool. But anyway, so that's the bucks. And then the access NFTs, which is the, gosh, that thing is been a revolutionary thought um, of saying how do we deliver utility through these nfts through certificates okay so now you can deliver products and services and and actually fulfill those products and services and verify that you own them and it's all built in here and you can create certificates for actions now even off of star stake so if you finish a marathon or finish a course somewhere else you can deliver a free nft um, to your customer to that fan 
and they earn a score for that. And that score determines, again, their value to you. And then you have the mechanism to exchange value back to them. What do you think that's going to do, right? I only wish I could have done that with this. That would have been a dream come true. If we did $200 million off of a card that did nothing, but it did everything, but that didn't have any utility, what do you think brands are gonna be able to do when they have all of this? That's my question. So that's been our approach. And that is, is truthfully been the, the mission for us was to create these new brand club economy cultures and to create all these features, to create social. Now I'm gonna show you this new feature. Now you have your own social network in there. My God, what were we thinking? But okay, we did it. And you're gonna have your own custom status. Now if somebody reaches a certain status, you're gonna be able to reward them for that. Make it worth their while to become your super fan or whatever. And so we have all these just pretty amazing mechanisms. And that's why it's taken so long because we want to create the best um, of the best for this category. We're the only ones, nobody's doing this. Uh, nobody's even thinking like this. You gotta be super crazy, I think. But uh, all in all, I, I'm super happy with it. I'm ecstatic about where we're at. I'm gonna show you the quick demo. I'm gonna, well, hopefully it's quick, but I'm gonna go through the whole thing with you and just show it off because I'm excited about it, obviously. Um, and our plan for releasing this is, um, Basically, in the next two weeks, we're going to roll out their onboarding. So you're going to see ads, you're going to see marketing going out there, and we're going to start bringing in creators, our early adopters, right, uh, for a fee to start going through private workshops with us. Now, if you have a Mission NFT, remember those Mission NFTs? Guess what? You're going to get all that for free anyway. So lucky you. So if you have one of those, you're going to be able to attend uh, and start to learn how to build your own brand club from us if you would like to. Um, so that's the value. I don't know if you remember that, but um, we are going to start bringing in creators. They're early adopters that want to work with us one on one. We want to work with these brands personally so we can help them build the best that they can. So then when we open up the doors on the live net that they can launch them and they'll be just really, really sweet. So uh, we're going to launch that. We're going to start in about two weeks, maybe less. I don't know. Um, We'll be running ads. We'll be bringing those people in because we got to get into business, right? Like we're spending an absurd amount of money. Um, we have to start getting into business, bring some revenue. Um, and while we do that, we're going to put the creators in what we call a sandbox. And that sandbox is like a test environment. Um, so they don't have to worry about others seeing the things or if they screw it up, it won't matter. Um, but at least it, it allows us to work with them, critique them, give them input. They can give us input back while we're just wrapping up some of the, the tweaks on the actual live version. It'll be a copy of it. Um, so you guys will be able to use that, the sandbox. Um, it'll be mostly what the live one will be like, uh, enough to get things set up. Okay. And then when we we're confident with this, we're going to say to those people and those of you that are creators, you're going to get say, Hey, we want to help you all launch. And so we're going to cross promote you. Um, we're going to have everybody just go in here. We're going to make a big deal out of it. And we're also going to do some really cool, uh, sponsorships too, when the time comes, but really what we want to do is work with as many brands and creators as we can initially to, you know, probably around 300 or so 400, uh, to get those put up into the main net when we go live, right? Which is not gonna be very long after. So it gives us some some leeway, a little bit more flexibility, but uh, for the most part, we are launching here in a couple weeks to creators to start onboarding, which is really exciting. It's a big deal. Um, then after that, it shouldn't be, you know, a matter of two to four weeks before, because it's gonna take that long probably to get ready to go through these workshops, um, make any adjustments that we have to from the feedback, and then boom, we turn this, th this thing, out, thing on and uh, I don't think the world's gonna know what hit them. Um, but it's up to us, right, for me to share this origin story that you just heard me talk about and to share this platform in a way that's like, look, if you're doing everything else, getting customers, that's great. What are you doing to keep those customers? What are you doing to engage them and actually help them build your brand? You know how hard it is? I forget, those of you that are on social media, and I'll get to the demo here in a second. It's hard to build a social media account, right? Like you gotta engage, you gotta do what the algorithm wants you to do. And even when you get lots of followers and an audience, it's hard to keep them or, you know, the algorithm doesn't always show your stuff. So you have to pay for ads just to get in front of your audience. We fix all of that. But regardless, that's a lot of work. And 
when you start coming over here, it allows you to take some of that work off of your plate because now your fans, because they know their status and they know like, well, I want to get to that other status. I want to get more perks. I want to earn more rewards with you. I want to be known as your super fan. They're going to help grow you. They're going to help grow your audience for you. And this is already happening. You guys, this happens. If you look at Taylor Swift, it's her super fans that build her. She wouldn't be who she is. These brands wouldn't be who they are without their super fans. That 20% that bring in 80%, right? The bloggers that love Apple and constantly talk and share and do whatever, right? Like build things around the brand. Those are super fans. But there's not a lot of rewards sometimes for being a super fan. There will be. We're going to change that. All right. So, um, so many cool things. Um, but let me jump on. We're going to go through this thing and hopefully we don't break the internet here, but, um, that's where we're at a couple weeks. We're going to start onboarding. Then we're right around the corner. We're going to have this thing full throttle. All right. All right, let's go. Okay. So let me show you around and I'm going to start with the stars. Actually, let's start at market hub. So star stake, you have what we call Market Hub. It's a marketplace with multiple marketplaces in one. So you have your main Market Hub, which is kind of your app store-ish because it has all of them in one. You can browse by star here. See, I can just browse actually these stars. And then down here, you can see the brand clubs. And then down here, you'll see some bucks. Um, and then down at the bottom, you'll see the access NFTs. And then if you want to know how star stake works you can just keep scrolling but there's really four different marketplaces. so if we go to brand club marketplace you can just view and search uh, and filter all the different brand clubs obviously this is a demo account but um, that's what that is the nft bucks is the same thing but it's all bucks related so you can check out all the different bucks the different collections bundles um, and you can just buy these right here um, and you can search for your favorite brands right in here you can search um, whatever you want really. So, uh, and then Access NFTs is the e-commerce. It's like our e-commerce store in the Web3 world, which is, these are, think of these as products. Uh, no, you cannot buy an Infinity Stone, uh, but it's kind of funny. But for example, this is a, a shoe or shoes, fashionista shoes. So if I click on this, I could buy these shoes for 199 expensive shoes. Um, but I get the certificate for those shoes, which might have some cool perks with it. It might not. Um, and if it's not even sold on Starsake, it's not required to be. If I click on buy now, it might take me to the Shopify store. And then after I purchase, it delivers uh, this cool certificate to, to me as a consumer, which then calculates my scores, right? So it gives me my customer score and ownership score for these shoes. Okay, so you could transition your whole e-commerce store right to uh, Star Steak. All right, let me throw on my glasses. Um, yes, I gotta wear my wife's um, reading glasses because I can't see very well when I'm up close. But all right, so these are access NFTs. But if you want to browse stars or brands, you can do that too. So I can go in here and just browse. Like here's an M&M, for example, and I can click on View Details. Um, Every star gets a star profile. So we'll start there. You can browse by star. I can search in the top search menu. We just added that recently. Um, it's always there. And um, you can come in here and see how much they've delivered in rewards and how many fans they have. So like YouTube has subscribers and followers and, and likes and all these other things on the other net uh, platforms. Uh, star stake, we go by connected fans, meaning how many fans are officially connected to you, not subscribed, but connected. And the way they do that is by getting this. It's a star connect. It's an NFT. It's free. There's no charge to you, the creator, and there's no charge to the fan. You can instantly get this star connect by clicking this button. I already have it, so I can't get more than one. So it's um, per edition. You can have multiple editions, but if you move to a new edition, say a second edition, that first edition can never be acquired again. So it's it's like discontinued, basically. Um, what this does, is it creates that official bond, that connection between star uh, and or brand and, and consumer. OK, but you can also deliver some really cool perks with that and and rewards just with this freebie. OK, you get points for it as well, um, but it also allows the creator to build this huge subscriber list. It's like your email list. It's like your opt in list. It's uh, your subscriber count, because later advertisers are going to be able to offer sponsorships and advertising dollars to get access to your connected fans uh, that you own as a creator, by the way, not YouTube, not Star Stake, you. Those are your connected fans. And so you get 
that money, not YouTube and not somebody else. This is a big deal. Connection is the very first major component of Star Stick, okay? So I can get that. I wonder if there's anybody that I don't have one. Let me just try to see if I can show you. Um, I don't know if Shang has made one in here. Let me see if Maria has one. She doesn't have one. So in your star profile, you can customize this middle section. Let's see if I can find one that's done. Um, here's Annie Frank. <laughs> so here's, uh, I don't think I have this one. So here's the star connect for this. Um, you can customize this section in the middle. You can see the brand club associated with that star, the bucks that are associated with the star and the access NFTs. So you can browse right there. You can connect with them via email. Um, and then later on, advertisers will be able to connect right through Star Stake, you guys. It's super cool. Um, all right here. So let's grab that Star Connect just because. Uh, I don't think I have it. Good, I don't. All right, so right now it's minting. It actually just created that Star Connect. I am officially a fan uh, with Love Green. <laughs> okay, that brand, if that were the case. It's edition one that you can see there. Uh, it was minted on 7, 2023. This is mine. It's a one of a one, uh, one of a kind. So I can see this just by clicking view my star connects. So here's the other ones I have, but here's the one I just got. Here's my score with Love Green because I believe I'm like a level three with that brand club. So I have a pretty high score. Um, view the content. So here I can see um, there's four star connected fans with Love Green. I'm number four on the fourth one, pretty cool. This is the first edition, um, some blockchain information, uh, some fan score stuff, which I'll share with you later. And then where I land as far as like, what's my value to that star now in relation to my fan score. So uh, Kaizen here has 11,548 fan score. So they're like getting up there, right? Um, I'm, where am I? I'm number two, 4,200. 35. So it's kind of a leaderboard shows your rank as far as all the fans go. So it's really cool. Now, normally, uh, let me show you one. If you want to deliver some extra content with this freebie, you can. So if I click here on Kawaii Kid, I can actually see, look, it. this is token gated content. So when you give these out for free or when brands give them out, they can give special access to videos, content, links, whatever you want, really. But this is only accessible by someone who has this Star Connect. Okay, pretty cool. And I am number three with why kid all right so that's star connect let's go back now to discover stars again and let's go back to a star profile uh, let's find let's go to mine uh, so you can customize this entire page uh, there's my star connect um, just some funny stuff in there. Uh, here's a brand club that I created. So I created space XYZ brand club for fun. Uh, here's an NFT buck I created. If you look at this oh wait a minute what's happening here? It's a video. Yes, we have video bucks now. So you can actually create bucks that are videos. And I'll show you all of that. But yeah, that's what that is. And then here's like an access NFT that I created. Okay. Um, so within that, let's go ahead and check out a brand club. Let's go down here to mine. So this is a Space XYZ brand club. Um, you can put a video in here, right? You can market this. Um, down here, we actually have a brand new upgraded page. If you like this, you wait till you see the new one. It's, it's beautiful. Um, some upgraded cards too, to make these really, really pop. But here's the actual brand club NFT that you get, like a membership card. It's like that black card. Okay. And it shows if there's any, uh, rewards or anything like sponsor promotions happening, which there's not. If I want to share it, I can click on that. Uh, but down here, you can see the different packages. Uh, but I can actually see it down here as well. So here's package number one, my access level. Level one's always free. Um, so it's a moon package. If I want to go to the moon, join the moon lander, I can do that by joining membership level one. That's free. Okay. Oh, what do I get? Do I get anything extra? Oh, I get a round trip moon landing access NFT. What's that all about? I want to check that out. So I can click on that. And now I can see, oh, what's this? That's Trump on the moon. Yeah, I don't know about that. So, and I can have a video that explains that, whatever that access that I'm getting with that membership, okay? Um, moon Pass for one, sounds exciting. Um, there's customer reviews of people bought these. See, there's no reviews at this time, uh, but let's just go back. Whoops, let's go to, let's look at a different one. So let's go to this one. I like this, Quiet Kid Club. Here's another one. This one's beautiful. So there's seven stakers in here. It's $100 worth of sales that have happened. Um, you can see that this one does have a shared sales rewards. Um, they also have a promotion going on for access promotions. Cool. Where Here they are. 
Quiet Kid Club Genesis shared sales promo, 50% shared rewards. So this means um, that 50% of sales that come into this brand club is shared with fans. Okay, so this is a promotion. If I wanna check this out, I can just click on this button and it tells me all about this promotion and it would show the leaderboard if it was active, okay? If I obviously, I don't have this brand club, so I can get it. Let's go ahead and get this brand club. So I can join, let's see, the free level, Kawaii Kittens. I don't think so. Let's not do that. I can do level two, which is Chibi Charmer, Chibi Charmer, 25 bucks. Let's look here. What's this one? Level three, uh, Manga Maestro, 75. I get a 500 point ownership score. Okay. Uh, they all have 500. Let's look at the level five. What is it? $500. I think there's 2000 of these left. Let's go level five, everybody. What do you think? Should we do it? Let's do it. All right. 500. I have 1,367 bucks in my wallet currently. If I don't have bucks, you can actually buy bucks right in here. So we added, we changed this checkout process where you actually get bucks. But let's go ahead and see if we can buy this. Um, some of these are test bucks, so they won't look that great. But let's use, let's see, I have one of these. Let's add one of these. It's 100. Let's use this one. I mean, I have one of those, so that's 200. So we need 300 more. We got a 50 in here. Let's use this one. I have some of these blank ones. Oh, here's my video buck. Let's use that one. Okay, so you can see I'm just adding bucks to my cart. Uh, I'm spending 300. I still need 200 left. So let's just use some of these. Let's use these blank ones. I don't know why they're blank, but we'll use them anyway. There we go. Now it turned green. I'm spending 500. Cool. Let's roll. All right. So I can see the bucks that I'm spending. I'm getting this brand club. I'm a level five, baby. That's all there is to it. Never accept less. And it shows you what you're spending. It's pretty cool. Um, and if you don't have it, you can buy bucks at the time of checkout with credit card or crypto if you'd like. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Put in my transaction password. This is so if anybody accidentally got your wallet uh, and logged in, they would have to also know your transaction password to even do anything with it. So it's double protected. All right, there we go. Brand club purchased successfully. Congratulations, you just, you just joined my brand club. Awesome, got it, I'm in, I'm part of the club. All right, so now that I'm part of the club, let me show you the new experience that we're building right now. Um, after we've learned so much about these, there was a couple of missing pieces that we wanted to do that I'm so ecstatic about, okay? Let me show you. So this is an example of the new brand club that it will look like. And what you're seeing here is just pretend uh, Nike Run Club, for example. So I'm in here, here's level two. Let's just pretend it was the one I just bought. So now you have the main, um, main menu at the top. It shows you what brand club you're part of. This is the fan snapshot on the right, which I'll tell you what that is here in just a second, but let's just go down. What we wanted to do with brand clubs is create something interactive and create something that was super easy for you to only produce content for those that you want to produce content for. Um, of course, you can create things with access NFTs and deliver it that way, but we built it right in through what we call a brand lounge. And the brand lounge is basically like an OnlyFans type feed or a social feed, but you can choose who sees your stuff. And I'll show you that here in a second. So here's a pinned post. Uh, it can welcome your new uh, fans to your brand club. Tell them about a new promotion. Tell them about a new sponsored promotion or, or, or maybe uh, some of the perks that you're going to give away for the different statuses, which I'll show you in a second. So you can scroll down here. Now here's your access. So because I joined on level five, if I had a level five, it would show the access NFT perks that I got with my level. And I can access them right here. I can get my t-shirt. I can get my event tickets, whatever I want. Boom, it's right there. And I can see the stuff I didn't get. So perhaps maybe I was like, oh, I really want the stuff that was in level two. I can get that too. I can upgrade or basically change my level, All right? So here's where I can see the different promotions happening. So remember that video could have said, hey, we're doing a sponsored promotion by so-and-so company. Make sure you go and, and, and get that. Um, so it just shows these really cool kind of act activities to do to earn uh, rewards. And why would a brand want to do promotions? Well, because it incentivizes fans to take actions. And what kind of actions can a fan take? Well, I'll go through that with you here in a second, but really it's just being a customer, being an owner of things, being uh, a loyal fan, having loyalty for a duration of time, and also having someone who gives service to that brand, sharing things, okay? And so the, 
you dangle this reward for people and you show them how to get that reward and now the different ways they can choose how they want to to try to achieve that. And then I have a, a cool uh, leaderboard. So it shows me where do I rank with all the fans in this particular brand club. So I'm number 432nd, right? And I can see that's for service score. I can see it for all scores. Um, but if I just want to see where do I land and just loyalty score, I can filter that. Okay. So that's that. Now on the right side is really cool. This is your snapshot as a fan. So me with this brand club, where do I stand? What status do I own? And I'll tell you why that's important here in a second. Okay. So it shows I'm a super fan in this example. Okay. Um, let's just pretend I wasn't, but let's just say I was an active fan, which is the second status level here. It says, fill your rings to reach super fans. So each ring is a different attribute. So one is customer, meaning how much money you spend with a brand, uh, two is ownership. So what, how many things do you own, uh, or collect? And number three is uh, service score. How much have you served that brand? And the fourth is loyalty, which uses an algorithm, which I'll explain really cool, kind of based on duration and such, right? And so as soon as I fill up these rings, based on the requirements that I need, I become a super fan, right? So it's kind of cool. You can see where you're at. Now, if you want to see how you're getting these points, you can just look down here. Okay, customer score. I joined a brand club and I got 2,500 points for joining that. Customer score is how much money you spend, okay? Access NFT, I spent $4,800. It's one point per $1 spent. So I spent, um, you know, well, if it was this case, it'd be $143,004. Um, I'm number 284th ranked customer with Nike Run Club in this case, okay? Kind of funny. Service score, it'll show you a breakdown, ownership, etc. So it shows you where you're where you're growing and, and so forth, okay? But let's go to the brand lounge now. The brand lounge is this feed. It's a social feed just for your brand club. It's specialized, okay? So when you're in here, you can see all the stuff. So if I'm a level five, I can see all my level five content. So when the creator wants to post content, they'll be able to choose, uh, do I want level five or level one through five to see this content? Do I want only my level ones? Do I only want my level fives? You can choose and you can also choose status. So if I want only my super fans to see this content, right? So it's another incentive for you to get to that next level of, of status. You can do that. So maybe as a brand, I'll say, hey, I'm going to do some special training, but you have to be an active fan or above to see that. And so if I'm in here, I'll see this stuff because maybe I'm a lower status, but if I'm not, oh, wait a minute, access locked. You need to be a level five super fan to access this content. Well, how do I become a level five super fan? Well, I can upgrade to become a level five just by clicking upgrade in the right corner if I'm not. Um, and then to become a super fan, it shows me right here, but let's go and see how, what things I need to do. All right, so fan status, requirements, connected fan. I'm already a connected fan. I need one star connect. Check, I'm done, right? It'll show you that on the right side. To become active fan, it shows you now we have rewards that can be delivered with that. So to be to move from active fan to, you know, or sorry, from connected fan to active fan, it would show requirements. It would look like this here. So I need a star connect. I need four NFT bucks. I need a level two brand club or above. I'd need uh, access NFT. I need two of them. I need a customer score of a thousand, ownership score of 2000 and a total fan score of 10,000. That would get me to true fan. And I have like three of those things, okay? But for active fan, maybe it would show different, right? Obviously it would. Uh, and creators can create any kind of requirement they want. And then status is like, what are the rewards I get? So this is where maybe you get a special edition t-shirt or just something as a reward for reaching that. And that's this is new. So this just shows you kind of the roadmap of becoming that super fan. The super fan is like the holy grail. It's the ultimate. It's it's the that's what's going to have a lot of weight. And it may take a while. Hopefully it will. I think it will. And then down here you can see the breakdown. Okay, where am I at? I have um two NFT bucks, maybe only have one, it'll show your progress and it'll check it off for you. So it's kind of a cool interactive journey, right? So that's your fan status. Now, if I wanna check out promotions, I can go here and say, okay, here's the different promotions um, that are happening. I'll show you that on the live site. And then also your access NFTs that you got, you can see them here too. But this is the new brand club experience that is social, it's interactive, there's rewards, there's um, a lot of competition. So if I go in here, I can actually go to promotions, can actually see these live ones. So here's a live one. This one ends in five days, seven hours, and two minutes. Uh, I want to check this out. Let's go check out what what are we what am I going to win here? I'm going to win this Kawaii Kid plushie. Bloxy is the name. Cool. I want that. All right. So what do I have to be? I have to be a connected fan active. So all 
statuses can participate and top five people win this thing. So top five fan scores, uh, total fan score wins this block C plushie, <laughs> whatever that is, okay? And it comes in the form of this access NFT. Remember, access NFT is the commerce piece to star stake. So now I'm like, okay, great. I'm gonna try to do this. Where do I stand? So here would be the leaderboard. Um, obviously this is not turned on right now, but this is where if for all the people that are in here, it would show the different ranks. And to win this, you have to be a top five. So I've got what five days to be able to get to the top five rank to be able to automatically get delivered this. Okay. And if I want to check out, I can view details about that just like you can on any access NFT, right? But this is where you'll be able to compete for all of the different, um, uh, different prizes, right? So for, for, Promotions, we have shared sales. Let me show you that one. So shared sales just means that you can earn a portion of the sales. So for this um, this brand club, I can get 50% of all brand club level sales. So remember those levels, one, two, three, four, five. When people spend that, this brand is deciding to share 50% of that with me. Well, how do I get that? I want that, right? Well, um, it looks like all fan statuses, um, can participate right so i would for something like this i would just make it you know active fan or above or true fan or above give the the top tier fans more of that revenue um kind of sharing thing right and you can see the rewards that's paid weekly so every week you get it bucks drop bucks drop bucks drop so when sales come in those bucks go into the system and it tears them up and gives them to the right people and if you're part of that that group you get a piece of that 50 percent um share which is pretty awesome Okay, and that comes in the form of ad bucks. So the cool thing about this, it's all self-enclosed economy. So you get paid in ad bucks, you can go and spend them or you can convert them. You can go right into Stake Hub and go to bucks and convert your bucks. Okay, so if I had any bucks to convert, um, I could just select them, put them over here and it just converts them right to USDC. And then you can go to an exchange and put them in your bank and do all that kind of fun stuff. So let's go to Stake Hub. So Stake Hub is your, I guess I was jumping around, but so we looked at brand clubs. Uh, let's go to the marketplace for bucks real quick. So if I want to buy bucks to be able to purchase things on Star Stakes, the only way you can do it, I can just come in here and shop. Let's buy a buck. Let's buy this 500 buck. because I just spent some. Okay. This is a 500 buck. Uh, it is what rarity is this? This is a rare. So I get 100 fan creds for this. So my ownership score is going to go up by 100, which is pretty cool right with the specific brand so let's add this to cart let's go over here okay i'm going to buy this let's go to checkout i can choose to pay with crypto or credit card let's just use crypto because it's a test and again have to put in my transaction password and confirm and now it's actually minting that buck it's taking the money that i spent puts it into the exchange on the net, on the blockchain, into an exchange. Doesn't go to Star Six. Star Six never touches the money. It goes right into the exchange to secure that buck. And now I can do whatever I want with it. Okay, so I can go and spend it or whatever. So, oh, there we go. Got the buck. I can watch a video. I can go and view my bucks. Let's just go down here. There it is. Okay, I can check it, check it out, read about it, and I can transfer it to another wallet if I wanted to give that to you as a gift. I could do that. The blockchain information's all right here. Okay. Um, we'll also have pop-ups that will happen. We have notifications. We're finishing that piece. So it'll say, congratulations, you've got a buck or your status went up by this much, things like that. Okay, but now I have those bucks. Um, so if I go back to my brand clubs where all the different brand clubs I've joined, let's go back to Kawhi Kid because this one's pretty cool. Um, you can see my status. Um, I'm not going to look at this. Here's the promotions, right? So now that I have bucks, my score went up and I'll be able to be on that leaderboard to win a reward. Okay. So you can see sponsored rewards. What can happen? Sponsored rewards are typically financial rewards that a sponsor. So a brand can say, Hey, I'll give you, I want to give five of your fans free meals or free shoes or whatever it is, right? Whatever their products are. So they create an access NFT for those shoes. They create a promotion for you and they say, Hey, I'll pay you, you know, $5,000 to do a promotion to your fan base. Uh, and I'll give away five free shoes for your fans. So what that does now creates a promotion inside of your brand club. Your fans love it because they're like, Oh, free stuff, right? How do I get the free stuff? I got to go buy more with the brand. I got to share, I got to do things here, which brings value to me, the brand. And then that sponsor is really happy because all these people are seeing these shoes that they want, right? So they want to either get the shoes and if they don't even get them, at least they're seeing them, maybe they'll buy them on their own. So they get to see. And then as soon as the winner 
uh, as it expires, the winner gets that Access NFT and it delivers the shoes. It's really cool how that works. So let's look at that. So let's go to the Access NFT marketplace. So if I just want to shop products, I can do that. So for example, like the shoe example I just said, we could do that one. That's a pretty easy one. How much is this? $199. Let's buy these shoes. All right, so this is $199. I'm going to get 250 points for the ownership score for this. <clears throat> That's not too bad. All right, so this has got five reviews, four reviews. Sorry, it's five star. So let's look at, I think we didn't even, oh, happy feet. Okay, so some of them, just, I think as we tested, just didn't say anything. So I can watch a video about these shoes, um, learn more about it. All this stuff is all customizable by the brand. But I'm like, okay, let's buy these. Let's go ahead and buy these. So, okay, my put in my name. Obviously, I need shipping address now. One, two, three. Let's put all this in here. Email address, uh, wallet. So when they created this Access NFT, they can choose the information that's required. So, for example, shipping address, name, all that kind of stuff. Um, continue to payment. All right, so how much is this? This is $199. I know I got the bucks for it. So let's spend... You know what, let's just, let me show you something really cool. I'm gonna spend a $500 buck on a $199 uh, product. How does that work, right? Well, the cool thing is, is Star State gives you change. So if you spend this buck, it's gonna take what it needs and it's gonna remint new bucks in the form of change, but they're also in the form of ad bucks. So the cool thing is, is as a creator, I can create ad bucks and then when people get changed, when they cash out their rewards, et cetera, those ad bucks are randomly selected from all the creators. So it's free advertising for you. So if I get ad bucks, and I don't think they have any images right now in the test account, but let's try it. So let's buy this. Okay, that's what I'm buying. Complete purchase. <clears throat> Boom, done. I now have the certificate for these shoes so of course i want to get delivery so i'll show you what happens here in a second for the creator side but there we go so there's the access nft so it's processing so this is the delivery system with inside stars like the e-commerce piece <clears throat> uh been the the root of my headaches in life the last eight months but here we go so we can see now these are the details i filled in right so here it says processing your footwear uh bonjour blah blah blah, blah. congratulations you know we're processing your order um, great. So now on the creator side, they also get a notification saying, hey, you had a new order come in and you would fulfill that order, do whatever you had to do to send the shoes to the address provided. Um, and then you'll change the status. And so they'll change the status to delivered. OK, so then I'll probably get a thing here that's a status delivered and I have a tracking number. OK, so then I can track my product. And as soon as I get it, <clears throat> I have let's see for physical products, I think it's 30 days. So I have 30 days to come in here to mark received or report a problem. Right. Oh, I got the product. It was broken or I never got it. Whatever. You can report a problem. Uh, otherwise, it'll automatically mark it as received if you don't. So you have this protection period. But I could mark it as received if I wanted to. And it would be done, even though I didn't get it delivered. I think I can. Oh, so I, I would need them to actually deliver. That's good. I'm glad we have that in place. Um, OK, so as soon as I got the tracking number and it was delivered, I could mark it as received. And then the money goes to that creator. That's when they get paid. As soon as they deliver it, that's when the funds come in. Make sense. And then I get the official NFT. I don't really have the NFT yet. It looks like I do, but I don't. So if I go to my access NFTs down here. OK, these are all the different ones. Um, so here you notice if I hover over some of these, some of them I haven't got received, but this one, this one right here I did because this was my own. OK, so I actually got this one delivered. So if I go here, see where it says received. I marked it as received. Here's the communications that we've had. That's how that works. OK, in the case of these, um, this one. See, I got these with the brand club. I just recently joined the level five. OK, so this one was delivered. I'm going to mark this one. This was like an instant digital delivery for digital delivery. I think there's three days to mark a problem if you don't. So, yeah, it's digital access. See right here. So I can mark it as received. Yes, I'm going to give five stars. Great anime ace, whatever it's called. OK, I'm going to submit the review. And that helps the creator to just get his reputation. You know, somebody's like, oh, this is a scam or a bad product. You'll see that. So um, pretty common in the e-commerce world. Right. So now if I go back to my access NFTs, 
um, I can see, notice there's no hover. It says I actually own this Access NFT now. It's in my wallet. I have it. It's the official certificate and I have the product, right? So you get both, which is really cool. So if I ever want to sell that thing, I can also sell the certificate with it, which officially means that I have the original. Okay, this is really, really important. Uh, open orders. So these are the different orders I have. These products have been delivered. This one's still processing. I can see these right here. Okay, and I can also see open orders down here. Okay, so I can see all the products I'm buying, kind of like your shopping cart experience. Okay, and we have different access NFTs. You have ones you can purchase like I just did. You have the exclusive ones, which I own eight of. Um, and the eight, actually, if I refresh. <clears throat> Um, so I own eight exclusives that came with brand clubs. If I earned a reward through a promotion, it showed that here. And then certificate is something that these are free. So a certificate is something that I can create. And let's see if I can show you. This is really cool. This is what this is all about. Enter your access code. So let's say I bought a product not on Startstake or I finished a course somewhere. I can actually let me show you a certificate I created. This is really cool. All right, access. I'm in the creator hub side now. So as a creator, this is where I create my stuff. So these are the access NFT. There it is. So I created a certificate that I'm going to give somebody for free. So I'm going to give you a free t-shirt when you do something. So maybe I give you a free t-shirt when you finish a course. So I created this access NFT. Okay. And now I'm given this link or an embed code. So as a creator, I can copy this. So as soon as you finish your course. I'll send you to this new URL. Watch this magic. And on this new page, and I can embed this on my own page too, is this. Claim your free NFT to earn rewards and join our brand club. So I'm going to get this excess NFT. All I have to do is copy this code. I already have it, so I won't be able to do it. You can only have one per account. Okay, so people can't abuse this. Um, so I copied that. Now I'm going to go back to my stake hub and go to my access nfts and now i see this did you receive an access code to redeem a certificate i could paste it in here it won't let me because i already own this but it says already claimed but what would happen is it would automatically mint and drop that certificate to my wallet so now if i went to um, my access nfts i would see that's just the example I did. So I would get that just like this and I could get my free t-shirt. But what it also did is check this out is it gave me the score for that. So it gave me 200 ownership credits just for getting a free t-shirt. I just increased my score with that brand by 250, which might've got me a promotional reward, right? It might've moved me up on the leaderboard. So, you know, if I'm like, oh, maybe I'm only 250 points away from winning this new promotion, I go and get, finish this course. See what that just did? That just motivated me to finish a product, right? That they created. It was gonna create loyalty and create results. So I just went and finished the course so I could get this free t-shirt, which gave me 250 points, which might get me a reward that that brand dangled in front of me to say, hey, this is, I'm gonna make it worthwhile for you to finish that course. And I'm gonna give you a free t-shirt, okay? So I just increased my score by that. So if I went back to that brand club, I would see my score increasing by, um, Right. So down here, I would see my customer score went up um, for excess entity by 100 or 250 points. OK, so I can see all of that right here and we'll have a ledger that will show you line by line everything you do and what creds you get for that. OK, remember, you get creds for spending money, customer score, owning things. OK, so just owning or getting an NFT, like if you get a Star Connect, you get 10 fan creds for ownership score just for owning it. Um, for bucks, you get an ownership score for different rarities, for access NFTs, and creators can customize these ownership scores too. We have defaults built in, but there are custom ones. Um, so you have ownership, okay, um, which can be certificates. So if you have a bunch of things, seminars or events or whatever it is, you can give these things away that will increase your score, even though you're doing them off of Star State, right? And then you have service. So if I share this brand club, let me go back to my brand clubs and let's just go to one of these so let's go to this one if i share this which if i go to i don't know if i have we should add a share button here but we can go here all right so here's it. if i share this page just by copying this link and you go and join this brand club and buy a level 
I earn a service score for that, dollar for dollar. So if you spend $1,000, I get 1,000 fan credits for my service score goes up. How cool is that, right? So um, that's another thing that, that's put in place. And then loyalty score, this is something we just changed. Now it gives you a score, it gives you creds every day that you're a fan. So if you're a connected fan, the day you get that Star Connect, you're getting one cred a day for life. Okay, it shows how long you're a fan with a specific brand. So if you've been around for a long time, you got a lot of creds added up. But if you move from connected fan to active fan, now you get two creds a day. Active fan, if you're now a true fan, you're getting three creds a day just under loyalty. Now, if you're a super fan, you get four creds a day just for doing that, right? Just for being at that status level every single day. And that helps build your loyalty score. You're also giving a bonus. So if you're a level five, you get like a 5% bonus on your overall score. Um, if you're a, what's the other one? Um, okay, so if you're a level, I think the level is one the Star Connect, and there's another one. I don't remember what it is. Um, I spaced it, but you get another bonus up to 5% or so. No, it's for Star Connect. So for every Star Connect, I believe you get, you get a point, uh, 1%. So you get 1% bonus on your total scores, just adds it up and it creates this amount under your service score or your loyalty score, sorry. I'm talking so fast. Um, so that's just, and we'll have that all outlined, outlined in our guides. But the cool part is, is creators can customize all of that. So let me show you that real quick. So this is where uh, creators can actually customize their different uh, statuses. So if I'm like, okay, connected fan, you can't change because that's just a star connect. That's easy. Okay. But let's say active fan, I want to, you know, include different rewards for that and then requirements like you see here i can't click the tab but let's go and do that let's create a custom status requirement so i come over here i'm editing active requirements for active fan status so i can choose how many different nfts one star connect am i going to require box or not do i want to require access nfts that you have to own maybe you have to be a specific level to get to the status um, do i need specific score amounts for customer ownership service or loyalty what score do i need to have Yes or no? How much? Do I need to earn a fan reward? Do I need to win a promotion maybe? And maybe I have to actually own a specific certificate NFT. Maybe there's an NFT or a buck that I need to own that's specific, right? So you can get even down to the micro of requiring like, hey, you have to earn this somehow and you have to do that. And you can choose which one that is, okay? And then you can choose if you want to give a reward when a fan hits that status level, okay? So for active fan status, which I'm editing right here and I can edit true or super, but for active fan, I'm gonna include VIP movie premiere backstage pass and limited edition collector set product, right? So as that gift, you get these access NFTs, which delivers the products and the achievement award to you. You know how when you look at gamification, typically you get these little badges, right? Like, great job, you did it, you did something. You posted on social five days in a row. Big deal, you, you got a badge. What does that really do for you? Status is really important. You guys, you cannot build loyalty off transactions or any series of transactions or social posts. There has to be a relationship and that relationship comes when you start knowing each other's value right so if i know my worth like i know i have a i know i have a relationship with you the brand because i'm a specific status and i own that status with you okay so i'm an active fan i earn that right to say i'm an active fan and i'm rewarded for that and do you think a company a brand that has me locked in like this like oh i'm a true fan or i'm a super fan i'm part of this club i'm going to events i'm doing stuff i'm getting perks i'm winning promotions i'm making money from this brand and i love their products do you think i'm going to leave that brand compared to another brand that may have the same shoes as this brand but man i feel great here i'm part of something here right that's the difference and so that's why status is so important status allows me the fan or consumer to own that and to get that rewarded and as a brand i get to grow because you're so loyal and you bring business to me and you're bringing more business because you're more likely to buy stuff it's pareto's principle 101 right 20 percent of the people will do 80 percent of the work or in this case bring 80 percent of the business um, or whatever so really interesting stuff so again 
that's in a nutshell. I know I could go through so much in here. I know it's a lot. We have our own management system for creators. So if you're a creator and you want to have somebody manage your account for you, it's super cool. They don't have to get access to your wallet at all, but they can come and build the stuff and manage it, deliver products on your behalf, all that kind of management stuff. Um, I didn't really show much about Creator Hub, but here you can see all your different fans. Actually, I can go through this real quick. You can see some milestones of just what you need to do as a creator as you come in. We'll be doing workshops and trainings, so those of you that are creators, don't worry, we'll handhold you through this. But this shows you like all the different additions you have for your Star Connects, how many bucks I've created, how many brand clubs I have, access NFTs, and I can create them right through here. Um, shows me my stats, how much I've earned, um, and then my fan status, like how many connected, active, true, and super fans I have. Um, so it really lets me see the data. Um, and here I can come in here and see all the different fans and their scores, their consumer scores, et cetera. Uh, earnings, I can check out how much I'm earning. Obviously, this is a big deal. And I can cash out in at any time. So um, it allows me to see the total sales that have come in, how much I paid out in rewards to fans, and how much I've actually earned and I have receivable. So I can just put in, I want to cash out $1,000, claim, it sends me ad bucks for 1000 and then I can just convert those to USDC if I want or spend them. Uh, it's totally up to you. Um, we're working on a deal uh, to be able to get a debit card so you can put them right on like the USDC right on a card and just spend it. You won't have to go through a separate exchange. Super cool. Um, but that's in the future. And then it just shows details like what am I spent like selling? How many brand clubs? I sold it to so and so. Um, it just gives you more detailed information. Obviously, my orders that have come through. So if I have pending orders that I got to deliver to somebody, I can manage all of that right here. OK, the different statuses I can see. And then if I need any resources, everything's right here too. Access to support center. Um, if you need support anytime, we got that built right here. You can send us a message and we can happily get back to you on all that stuff. Um, other than that, uh, let's see, what else can I show you? My, my agent, my managers, that's all basic stuff. Creation zone, uh, let's look at Star Connect. So creating a Star Connect is really easy. Um, I've got two editions. This is the current edition. This was my first edition. Okay, I've got one fan under this edition. I got two under this one. Pretty cool, right? Um, I can edit the token gated content anytime, um, or I can edit this one or just mint a brand new edition if I wanted to. And these are free, you guys. Like this doesn't cost you anything, doesn't cost fans anything. It's all right here. Okay, and you can see the breakdown here too. Okay, I've got three total fans, two under this edition. Uh, brand clubs, let me show you how easy this is. And I know this is getting long, but I think it's pretty exciting. Um, so here's my brand clubs. I've got this one, my space X, Y, Z. Okay. I've got three connected fans inside this brand club. Um, here's any promotion. I don't have any promotions right now. Uh, any stats for this brand club would be here. Um, and if I have any brand clubs I'm creating in the, in progress. Okay. So if I go in here, let's just create a new brand club. I can show you. So I create the brand club itself. I create the access levels. I create the page that I want to sell it and I just review and submit. That's it. That's all there is. It's really, really easy. Give it a name, upload your, your picture, whatever it is, right? Right. And you can make your brand club card, how it look, however you want. Okay. And then you just go through this process step by step, really easy. Uh, it walks you through it. Um, pretty easy stuff. Okay, so now it would probably, actually I didn't save, but normally it would show creation progress. So if I created one piece and then left, I could come back and pick up where I left off. Pretty awesome, All right? Same thing for Bucks. Bucks is super easy. You create collections, right? And then inside of there, you can put your Bucks inside. I just created a video Buck, which is cool. You can add videos and audio. So when people hover over these, they can actually watch these videos. Super, um, pretty amazing technology, really. Um, you can create bundles. So if you want to, I don't have any, but you can sell multiple bucks at a time. So maybe you create a bundle with 10 different bucks in there. You can buy, consumers can buy them at once. And then it just shows my sales, right? I've sold uh, $109 and bucks. So actually, I don't think that's supposed to be dollars, but total sales, 5450. These numbers are backwards. Um, and total earnings, uh, depending. So I know this is the demo console. That's probably why it's not showing, but you get the idea. Pretty cool, right? And that's it, you guys, that's it. Star Profile is your homepage. It's super easy. This card is a card that shows. Um, I can edit my profile picture at any time. I can edit my profile page, the information about me, uh, my contact email, 
the page itself, right? As we talked about before, can edit that really easy. And that's it. That's it. So welcome to Star Stake. Hopefully that uh, makes sense. I also can get a breakdown of my wallet. As you can see, I can see the different bucks, how much I have, my different brand clubs, access NFTs, my value in my wallet, my settings, all this is right here under your wallet, um, notifications, all that stuff, resources. And that is a pretty thorough walkthrough of Star Stake and where we've come from and where we've gotten to now and where we're about to go together. So thanks everybody. Appreciate you tuning in here. I know it was a long video, but I'm so excited to show this off. I cannot wait to get everybody in here using it. I can't wait to join brand clubs and participate and win stuff and, and build this thing. And look, I'm sure there's going to be some bugs in the beginning, but we'll work through it. We have a very smart team and it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time, right? We'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Starstick Explorers, we have you on screen. Performing NFT systems check. Stage one access is set. Launch systems intact. Starstick, we are a go.